It's wedding week. Holy cow. Can't even believe it. We have, as of today, as of Tuesday, the 22nd, we have four more days. I just counted on my fingers to make sure. So yeah, it is getting down to it. I cannot believe we are getting freaking married. Um, if you told me that I was getting married even just a couple of years ago, actually like three or four years ago, I would have been like, Psh, there's no way. Don't believe you at all. But here we are getting married. And so today it is the final episode that me and Kiana have done in the past. Meet my girlfriend as but now meet my fiance part three. Again, if you would like to check out the video, there's a YouTube video version, and I will link that in the show notes. And after we're going to plan to do another recording, just another update on us and how our relationship has changed, evolved, shifted, things that have happened, like all of the things. And after the wedding, I'm probably going to also do an episode where, or maybe this will be with Kiana, but I'm sure we'll talk about this too. But things that we're doing that is more non-traditional or like not as normal in wedding world that I'm excited about. I can't wait to see how it all goes and turns out. I've definitely felt the stress this month. Like I've not really been super stressed about it. I've just kind of let like things happen and what, like it's just been kind of not that it's been whatever, but I'm not super stressed. I just never really stressed about it until this last like month or two where it's like, hey, now it's time to really get shit done. Like things that we've been procrastinating, decisions that we've been procrastinating, ordering things that we've been procrastinating, like now is the time. And so, um, yeah, definitely have felt a little bit of that, but it'll all come together. It'll all be okay. We read the script, the first draft of the script that our officiant wrote, and you may recognize her if you've been listening to this show because she was actually on my podcast. She was the astrologer that I interviewed, Shamani. And you know what? I will link that in the show notes as well. But she is going to be our officiant, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool that um, this connection like came about. And I ran, I did not know that she did that. And I randomly was scrolling through Facebook and a post popped up that she had made about officiating. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. What? Like you officiant, I, you're the one I want you. And so I reached out to her and yeah, we, and I read the script, the first draft, we read it and I cried. I was bawling. So I feel like either I'm going to be bawling all day and cry a lot or like adrenaline's going to hit. And like, I just like, won't be able to be emotional. Like I just won't be able to cry. So I've cried pretty much almost daily for the past month or two, just thinking about it, writing my vows, like all of that. So pretty stoked. All right, that's that. Let's jump into today's episode, part three, me, my fiance, Kiana Bassett. Well, I guess we're here. <laughs> we're already here. Yeah, I am. Gosh, yeah, I'm Nothing. drawing some real talk right now. So I have struggled in the past this with is the, be a two part episode. It might have to be. <laughs> it might have to be for real. So I've struggled in the past with being able to, and I might have even talked about in this podcast before, but like verbally communicating things sometimes is really hard for me. Like I think that's why I love creating posts and like doing our blog and stuff. So I can easily get my thoughts onto paper by typing or writing. Mm -hmm. And I, I can, it's just easier for me to do that. And sometimes when I try and speak my thoughts without writing it down, what I want to say comes out so different than what's actually in my mind, or it comes out the wrong way. But I, okay. So now in the, in like the sense of like our sexual relationship, I guess, and in my like past sex life and all of that with like people, even like since high school, like I've always struggled with being able to like verbally talk about so. sex stuff or like even anything really confronting things like anything. And uh, I feel like some of that is just from, I don't know, I've always been like that. First of all, I think it's a part of my past life. Yeah, maybe. which we won't get to that right now, but um, my yeah. past life that I like when I did that, but that, and then also maybe some past relationships or experiences that I've had that, like contributed to that. So me struggling in the very beginning, I know it was hard for you because could it was not figure you couldn't out. figure me out. We wouldn't like, I had such a hard time, like answering questions or like talking about stuff and 
it was just it's like it's like it's like my throat which we have throat chakras it's like that would like close and I just couldn't couldn't get anything out I literally could not speak I couldn't get anything out no and I sometimes I find that it ha- it'll happen mm-hmm. and I have to just like like kind of wait and think about it but uh yeah but now uh, it's not really an issue at all like mm. we talk we talk well yeah like because you said you thought I was going about like to the after and talking about stuff that we what you thought I was going to be saying yeah like usually when we're done having sex we'll talk about it and say well okay well, what worked for you what didn't mm-hmm. or your highlights yeah like almost every time I ask you over the highlights <laughs> what are your highlights? and yeah like oh my gosh and just build from there, which I've never done that before. But like I said, I, I could not figure you out in the yeah. beginning. I had no idea what worked for you. How did you figure out what worked for me? Essentially, I just <laughs> <I> guess, <laughs> yeah. figured it out. Yeah, because I didn't tell you really anything. Trial I and error. Yeah. I was gonna, yeah, because I thought about that last night. I was going to ask that at some point. But yeah, I think talking about it too, like, just makes it just, it's okay. And, uh, in our first episode that we did, we talked about how I manifested Kiana and she, like I was made for her and still totally true because I definitely like I knew that when I met my person, I had complete faith that like I would we would I would feel comfortable like talking about the stuff with her. We would be able to like talk about I would have a great sex life. We would be able to talk about things and I would be able to like be open about it and not like be self-conscious because I was super self-conscious in bed you were very and I just knew when I met my person like maybe at first I knew I would be but like eventually I would get there if the right person came along taught me like knew like just helped me out a little bit and was patient (laughs) and yeah and here we are here we are and it's like I can I can just just talk about something I think that if anybody is listening to this and they are maybe struggling with that, I think that, yeah, talking about it and even just like saying like, well, if you wanted to try something else, like what would that be? Or what, mm-hmm. what is there anything that you've wanted to do or try? Yeah. Or like I've asked you like, well, what, what can I do differently or what can yeah. I do more of? Like what, what's going like, to, oh. what do I do that you like or what mm-hmm. do I what do I, is there anything that I do that you don't like or yeah. that doesn't do so much for you? Yeah. And you might have to like work into that. Like yeah, that we didn't get, we didn't jump into that right away. Like maybe no. you asked me that and I couldn't answer it. So I didn't answer it, but we just like kept going and kept like eventually like talking more about it. And then I eventually, it's like, it's kind of like, so it's kind of a slow pro- progression to like where I am now, where I am more open about it. And it's kind of like having more like self-love for your body. It's like a slow progression to getting to that point and realizing, oh, it's like I'm I naturally got there. Like I'm it, yeah, I don't even know how else to explain it. Didn't expect to talk about that tonight. <laughs> no, I'm so surprised. Like I said, you used to not talk about it at all. No, I know. Now here you are. Putting it on your podcast. I know. I don't even know who's listening. Proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> you open out. Um, all I do is rock your world and ask you what the highlights are. She does rock my world. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> we'll end it with that. <laughs> if you're listening, get you I'll a w- girlfriend. <laughs> get you a girlfriend. <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't know who listens to this or if, yeah. I would love to know what you thought about it. I would love to know your thoughts on what we just talked about. Message us. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Maybe mm-hmm. people liked it. Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. And if they don't, screw them. Well, turn this podcast Bye. off. Yeah. Bye. Jeez. See you never. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. No, she's not. <laughs> Get it, please. All right. Yes. So question. What is the weirdest thing I've ever done? Or just like, so I do something you don't expect me to do. It's just weird as fuck. I really don't know. 
What about like in general, like it's something that I do quite often, but I don't know. There's nothing comes to mind. Mm, I, I guess just like when you get excited, you just do, you just do shit. <laughs> you, just, you just like, it's like, you just gotta like move your little whole body. I do. Yeah. I can't sit still. I just, yep. Mm-hmm. That's accurate. It's not even like you dance. You just do things. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not dancing. No, it's, it's just, I don't even know. So I'd say that. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 okay. You've been really into your little. That's been your thing. Yeah. Already. I don't even know why. Or just like random like sounds you're like whatever that's what i've been noticing the really most. yeah i've done that a lot dun, yeah dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> i asked you if it's just because you're excited that you can sing that song now. oh yeah that's right yeah. and i didn't realize that i'm like oh, yeah, that's true yeah. <laughs> So you just do shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. true. I know. So I'm I'm so weird. Weird. <laughs> we got okay, we'll get to it. What? The different. Oh yeah. Would you want to talk about it now? Or is it on here no. already? We'll go through the list. Okay. Going through the list. Yeah. All right. How I stayed up all night talking. Oh yes, you can. Okay. So when we first started talking, so these are things that we thought of like throughout since our first episode and thought, oh yeah, we should have talked about that on the episode. So when we first started talking, before we started talking, I would not, no matter who was talking to me, I would put my phone down at a certain time. I would take a bath, no phone. I would only listen to like meditation or meditation music and just like ignore everything. I wanted to be able to have this good nighttime routine and I would turn my phone over, go to bed. That was it. Well, when <laughs> Keanu came to the picture, that came always jacked that all up. Yeah, went down the drain. <laughs> So I, yeah, really that's like, I couldn't not talk to her. Like I would look forward to talking to her. I would like, yeah, I still took a bath, listened to meditation, but it was like, even when I tried to focus on like not looking at my phone and just doing like meditation or listening to music, whatever, it was like, it's like, like I kept checking it or like, if I heard, <laughs> I was like, Hey, I got to respond. Like I would still respond to you. Yeah. And then um, not only that, but I, I remember, like I told you one time, I would not stay up past a certain time for anyone. Like I wouldn't keep, like we talked till like two, 3 a.m. sometimes. Cause I was activated. Oh yeah. That's yeah. So you were activated. I had to be up yeah. all night. I was, we were up all night and then slept a little bit. Yeah. Took a nap during the day. But like normally if it was anyone else or like a friend or whatever, like I would, <laughs> not have done that i i just yeah i would just not talk to the person i wouldn't respond until the next morning like it just wasn't normal for me to stay up and and i was so tired like i could have instantly fall asleep but like we we're just talking back and forth and i didn't want to stop talking to you you said fall asleep <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> yeah, you did <laughs> you did fall <laughs> Are you sure? I promise you, <laughs> fall asleep. Could have easily fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me, but. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what? Okay, I could have easily fell asleep. fell asleep. Yes, that's that. But I <laughs> couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> What did I say earlier? <laughs> Didn't I say? I don't know. Like, recently, there's like two things that I said. <laughs> I don't remember what I it was. <laughs> oh my God. The, oh my God. <laughs> what? The sanctions. <laughs> I got on my phone. Oh, oh dang. It. Oh, you can't. I, I know how it went, though. Because <laughs> we were Sorry. talking about. You never put emojis in tags either. I and you oh did. Oh my god, I was like almost in tears <laughs> laughing at you. I can't even believe you said that. Okay, let's so um <laughs> recently <laughs> we were talking about the whole like Russia Ukraine thing because Russia had just invaded Ukraine 
at this point who knows where it's at when this comes out but yeah this is when russia like they just <laughs> like launched a full-blown invasion into ukraine so i was i'm a little bit worried about it just being in the military and whatever <clears throat> and i was kind of watching the news and i texted my grandma because she always watches the news <laughs> and asked her what she thought was gonna happen <laughs> and she said all right all right you uh we're just gonna put more sanctions on the on russia whatever so i texted so i said my grandma says that biden is just gonna put some more sanctions on russia and not go to war with them yet and she <laughs> she texted back like oh sanctions that's where people can go and be safe and get like resources <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man you're, just, you're so smart and then you just say stuff like that sometimes and i'm like dude i know you said that come on <laughs> in the text and then you just and then you just explain that no sanctuaries babe. sanctuaries oh, yeah yeah i don't know if that's sanctuaries <laughs> I laughed too and I was in the gym working out and I saw that and started laughing. I just yeah, I totally thought it was sanctu- I was thinking sanctuary, not sanctions. It's the same when I was talking to you about sand volleyball. I said, Oh, we can sign up for sand volleyball like in sometime in February. And you're like in Sioux Falls. <laughs> well, I mean it could have been in like a surrounding area town, so no yeah no yeah it could have been no. anyone listening would agree with me <laughs> no, they would. yes they would uh, okay so yes i now know this the difference between sanctions and sanctuaries but it's mostly <laughs> because i thought sanctions was like i just was thinking of sanctuaries it only took you 29 years same word same word <laughs> Pretty much. it's not <sighs> so very okay different. anyways back very, very different. so back to staying up all night so i would stay up literally all night and i that's yeah i would not do that for anyone else and it's i don't remember did i when did i tell you that was i t- did i tell you that like when we were talking and i just was like i don't i, I wouldn't i do then, not stay up yeah. that late with people thank you back talking then, to you people. Said that. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah because i just i didn't want to stop talking to you and i basically went until you didn't respond for a while or you said that you were gonna go to sleep mm-hmm. Yeah. Even like before we like had like a th- thing and we were just friends. Officially a thing, yeah. Yeah. You had a crush on me from the beginning. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You had a crush on me from the beginning. I never said that. You did. When? Well, you did. When did Didn't I- you say that? No. Yeah. I was keeping you in the friend zone. I thought you were hot. What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You because you you like you even asked your friends yeah. like do you think she's in a girl? So that just shows. I, yeah, see, say it louder for the. Mm-hmm. What did you say? Hmm? She said she did have a crush on me. That's what you said. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anything else I want to say about that? I don't think so. Okay. Your little note section of all. The, oh, your little note section of all the socks that I've said to you. Yeah, that's. Me oh man, so what? That. I'm the blue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because you thought of that. Okay. Yeah. Because you have a whole little note section. Two. Two? Mm-hmm. What's the second one? So the first one, I eventually I was like, I started adding photos into the notes oh. that you would send me. But explain to them what this is. Okay. So in my notes section, um, I have it was named Kiana, and now there's one named Kiana too. But <laughs> but anytime she would send me a text um saying something okay so my my love language is words of affirmation very much yeah and so anytime she would like say something send something to me i would instantly copy and paste it just so i had it it was really anything that like made me feel super loved and just like i don't even know how to explain it like i'm anywhere where i, I don't know yeah i mean just lit you up yeah exactly like, I feel like if you, if your love language is words of affirmation, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I just, I can't even explain it. That's, that's like, that's like the way that I, 
not like the only way that I feel loved, but it like is like magnifies it. Like I feel super loved and just like all the cute things that you would say and things that like, yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. So it's, I would copy and paste it, put it into the notes so that I just would have it for if I ever like go back and read it or just for our, like our future or whatever. And I eventually started putting pictures that you would send me in there instead of just, instead of just saving it to my camera roll, I would put it in there. So pictures that I would send you? Mm-hmm. Or what, what pictures did I send you? Are you just oh. taking screenshots of the conversation? Yeah, I think maybe, oh. no, not screenshots, but sometimes mm-hmm. you would send me like in the journal that you have, you would write stuff oh, and there was a yeah. picture. So I put that in there. Mm. Or like I started putting pictures, like sometimes it would be a screenshot of a Snapchat of you like taking a picture of yourself like at the gym or something. Mm. And I would save that. So put that into the notes in the notes, the first one that I had, not knowing this was going to happen, but I eventually would go in there and I would try and paste another like text. And it wouldn't, it was so weird because it showed that there was a picture, but there was no picture. And when I would oh, click man. it, the picture would come up. Yeah. So I would have to like go back to like other text, hit it, hit enter, and then put it in. So it just got annoying. So I just started a yeah. new one. So that's why I have two. When did you start the first one? Like the beginning. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to talking. I'd have to go back and see what the first tech like the first one is to see what it says. Mm. But it was probably soon after that. Mm. It might have been like the first time you ever did that, honestly. Did what? Like sent me a text and I like liked what you like just like loved it and then um <laughs> copied and pasted it. The first text I sent you or the first <laughs> Instagram is no the first one, but it was it was close to the beginning. I'm pretty sure. And what? Mm-hmm. I'll just go back and look because I'm curious now. Yeah, let's see what it was. All right, age difference. How is it for you being it's, a grandma? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dating it a young buck. A young buck. Yeah. It it's it doesn't affect me in any way at all. In the beginning, I thought you were older than me. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, she's like 80. 29. I'm 20. AKA 29. 25. I feel like we're at a point where the age difference doesn't matter so much. Yeah. Like that age gap doesn't matter so much. It really doesn't. Catch me like five years ago when I was 20 and you were like 29. It would have been quite the difference. Yeah. 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 It's different when you're younger, but like as you get older, it's like the it doesn't age matter. doesn't matter at all. Yeah. So yeah, that was never really, a th- the only thing that got me was that I thought you were older when I found out that I was older. I'm just like, what? I thought you were closer to my age. Than yeah, you I know. Were. And I get that a lot. People think that I'm like 23, 24. Yeah, someone at the gym came up and said, like, said something to me, like implying that I was older than you. When was that? <sighs> That's what's her name. I can see her. What gym? Anytime Fitness. Mm. Merrily? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was shocked. Yeah. True. Yeah. Because she, I think, she thought I was older than me. I mean, some people, I think, thought me, but a lot of people like thought it was you that was older. I look like I'm 12. <laughs> I don't know what it was. When I first saw you, I thought for sure you were older, if not my age. Not that much older, but so I either thought my age or older, but definitely not as young, like as... Not as young as you are, but like, what the heck? What? Do I just look old? No, that's not what I mean. I just thought, I just thought you were either my age or older, but I, it just like shocked me when I found out how many years younger you actually were than me. Yeah. So I just look old. Mm -hmm. You look older than what you actually are. And you're an old soul. I'm an old soul. I look like I'm 15 though. I don't think so. I do. I don't know. So it's not really, it doesn't make any difference for you. Like even in the beginning, just nothing. No. I was, Cause you thought I was younger. Yeah. I thought you were closer to my age. Yeah. So yeah, I was surprised when you said that you were turning 29. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it doesn't make a difference really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only reason I came back to anytime. Oh fitness yeah. Was- okay. Yeah. Tell us, tell the story. <clears throat> So, got some in my throat. <coughs> it's those instant balls. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's on my throat. 
what? It's those instant balls that you're talking about <laughs> earlier. <laughs> instant balls? Remember when you said that earlier? Yeah, but what did I I said instant? Yeah, instant balls. What I did said I mean it instantly say? balling. Oh <laughs> okay. Either. Yes, I remember now. <laughs> She's not even that drunk. No, I'm not, but I would think about that anyway. Right. I forget. Okay. So this was back when I was with my ex. I was coming out to Brookings because she, my ex, lived there. And I had been coming out there for a while and not going to a gym. And I'm like, all right, screw that. I need to start working out when I'm out here because I love being in the gym. So I went to Anytime Fitness, sent, well, okay. So I remember driving out there and I looked up Anytime Fitness, found the website whatever found the number to contact them and i sent a message just saying like my name's kiana i'm gonna be in town for the weekend just wondering if i can use your gym you know whatever heather replied back set up a time to meet that day whatever so i came in met with heather we talked i like signed a waiver did all that and she was like all right usually it's whatever amount per day for like 10, I think 10 a day mm-hmm. to use the gym, like not as a guest, but like just a day pass day pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. So it was like usually $10 for a day pass, but I'll just, I'll give you this fob for the whole weekend and only charge you $10. <clears throat> so I was like, sweet. That's like I was, I was just like super like amazed that she would do that because I just wanted to find a gym to go to for the weekend, mm-hmm. you know. And I was thinking that it would be like maybe twenty dollars a day. So I was, I was ready to spend like sixty dollars, and here I was only spending ten. <laughs> and she's like, "Here's this fob, like whatever, do do your thing." <clears throat> so I was like, "Sweet." So I got the fob, worked out there for the weekend. It's like, all right, sweet is. The gym is not my style at all. Anytime. No. Gym, now knowing not what I know <laughs> at all. No. So I was like, okay, no. whatever. It'll work for the weekend. Fine. Cause I, it worked. I just, it's, it's not, it's not the kind of gym that I'm into. I like old school, like iron, like grungy, grungy, grimy gym. That is, <laughs> that's my happy place. That's where I want to be. Not family not, friendly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not family friendly. Not any type of yeah. Yeah. So whatever. I worked out there for the weekend. Okay, great. Left. Left the fob. Did and that. we didn't see each other at all then. Did we? Maybe that Friday. Maybe the Friday. Maybe. That was maybe the first time I saw you. I don't mm-hmm. remember exactly the like what day. I first mm-hmm. saw you. I yeah. just remember the feeling I got when I did first see you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyways, next next time I came back to Brookings, I was like, I got to find a different gym because it was great that she did that, but not my vibe for gym. So I went to Snap Fitness, talked to the guy there. He's like, well, you can come in today because we have someone working today, but Saturday, Sunday, no, because nobody will be working there. We're not going to give you a fob. You can't come back in. So I went and worked out there for the day. I'm like, okay, this gym is more my style. Not like 100%, but I was kind of annoyed that they wouldn't, they weren't, they weren't willing to work with me the way that Heather was. Yeah. Like they weren't going to give you a fob or anything for the weekend. No, they wouldn't do anything like that. And, and they weren't going to have anyone working there, so I couldn't even get in during the weekend, which is when I wanted to work out. So mm-hmm. I was like, that's not going to work. And I was like, well, I mean, that Heather chick was pretty nice to me and, like, worked with me, so I'm just going to keep going back there. So the whole reason I kept Thank you, Heather. Back, yeah, the whole reason we're together is because of Heather. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because if a Snap would have worked with you, you would have just gone there. I would have kept going there. 100%. And we want to have... Wouldn't have we wanna not- have- talked or anything if, if snap would have done what heather did i would have never came back to any time yeah. fitness there and so that tells, tells me too that you probably didn't or even if you did see me that first time i think i did and i like 
I think I did see you the first time, and I'm like, well, I'll probably never see her again either. <laughs> I remember thinking that. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah. But that's so insane. Yeah. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. I'll have to text her and thank her because. What is just we should we should talk about the time that I texted you too and didn't even oh. it was after that first time too. Yep. Okay. Because so like I said, Heather gave me a fob to use to get into the gym, which is like a little like keychain thing to get in. <laughs> Whatever. He's using that. And I was supposed to leave it there Sunday before I left, but that Sunday I didn't end up going to the gym. I just went home right away. So I left the fob with my girlfriend at the time and I texted the same number that I thought was Heather's. Well, I think it was, I don't know. I texted it was the gym. It was the gym I texted number. The gym number saying I left my fob with my, I said her name with her. She's going to drop it off on Monday with my ex-girlfriend, my current girlfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. You texted back saying something, whatever. And the only reason I remember this is because, like, Heather at the end of hers text said Heather. Then all of a sudden it said <laughs> Sophia. And I'm like, what? Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? Yeah, because in our system, like, I'm pretty sure I remember this. This only happened a few times where Heather wasn't there or like she wanted me to message someone back just to reply. And I remember going on and normally I would go on Heather's. So it says from Heather, but I think Mm -hmm. I must have just from my computer replied back and just and just responded whatever Heather wanted me to respond. But it said my name at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. But it's like the computer, like our system that we had at Anytime Fitness not our personal cell phone number. So that's yeah. why. So we texted and didn't even, didn't even know didn't it. Didn't even know it. And we didn't realize this till later. Just like a few months up. ago. Yeah. Yeah. I brought it up. Yeah. That's yeah, so I crazy. just remember seeing, I remember seeing your name at the bottom and I was really confused because I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought this was it. Because I, I, cause I never deleted that text thread from Heather. So I like went back and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, do you still have it? No. Oh, it's gone now. But mm-hmm. that's def- crazy. It's definitely you. Or yeah. came up your name. That's crazy. You know. And you didn't respond, did you? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. No. Crazy. Okay, what's next? My grandma's saying. My oh name. yeah, that's you. Your story. Another one. So, this was like back. This was in like july when we would go to your um we'd go to, to her cabin. cabin it was when we got the jet ski because mm-hmm. you're out jet ski oh, was it yeah. oh yeah, yeah yeah you're right you're right yep mm-hmm. so we went to my cabin we rented a jet ski that weekend and soph was out on it i must have been out on it before mm-hmm. you were and then you went out on it by yourself yep because i think that's I when back. she asked me like do you have any sisters, siblings? Tw- like we said, I just said how I had a twin. She was just talking to my grandma, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I get back. <clears throat> my grandma's just sitting on the dock like we do. And I get back. Soph goes out. My grandma's like, I didn't know she had a twin. I was like, yeah, she does. And she's kind of like asking me questions. She's like, oh. Somehow she got on to the point like her twin is married and has kids. And I was like, yeah. So she was like, so her, so her twin is straight. She was straight because so if I'd never been with the chick before. So my grandma was like, why would you do that to her? Like, like I made her gay. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because she was, she was, she was straight and her sister is straight. And then now with you, and it's like, well, why, well, why, why would, would you, you do, do that? that to her? Why would she you do said, that? Why, why would you, would you do, do that? that to her? <laughs> I just started laughing. That's going to make my grandma sound not supportive. She is supportive. Oh, yeah. But she just, like, she she thought I did something to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why no. would you do that to her? I thought it was so funny <laughs> just the yeah. way that she asked that. Cause she I could see it, too. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. She's so funny. <laughs> Hilarious. I remember the first time hanging out with you, your mom, meeting your mom and your grandma for the first time and hilarious. Yeah. Like 
her, I mean, your mom too, but I just remember she was so funny. My grandma. Just things that she would say. Yeah. She's low key, a little savage. She will just say what she's thinking sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty mm-hmm. funny. Yep. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. Oh, staring, staring contest. contest. Yeah. We haven't done that in a while, but like mm-hmm. we would just, I don't even know how it started. It was pretty early on in our relationship. We Do just you remember the first time. No. Really? Well, yeah. Remind me. I'm sure I will. We were at your place. Yeah, I remember that. And we just, I, I think I started it. I was just looking at you and then you blinked and I said, you lost. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And then we just started doing it and we were both just like crying and laughing at the end. Yeah. Just yeah. I just, rolling, yeah. Laughing so hard. And sometimes like we would just stare for the longest time, but like our eyes would get so just like watery, watery and yeah. red and like, so, <clears throat> but yeah, it was just, so, it was so funny. Like it was kind of, I mean, it was like a game but it just yeah. like became something that we just like did just yeah that we do and um we haven't done it in a while but no we haven't we'll just like stare Every once in a while yeah and one of us will just be like you lost actually normally that's you you saying yeah, like you, say lost. you lost and then uh, and then on yeah and then we do <laughs> game on and then we do it again yeah that's fun so do, we got two little contest. things like that with your partner it makes it fun yeah it does just little games yeah it does make it fun and it's like we should what? we should talk about gosh this will only be good if you're watching the video but all this random weird shit that you do to me you yeah. have that in here oh i do yeah everything she oh does. Yeah. is that next no it's should more. we talk about it okay so just like i mean this is just like her personality it's not like you have to do this if you um don't like if it's not you or whatever but i mean you could do it but it's i don't I explain it you'll just like little things i do yeah um, just annoy your partner just yeah so that's really what it is yeah but it doesn't annoy me it annoy them but like there was one time i feel find like the, what, find what they don't like and just continuously do that yeah that was funny but you, but you didn't find what i don't like you just did it but it like is you don't like funny. when i put my finger in your butt you said she puts your finger around my butt in your final. oh my god <laughs> when you're going up the stairs so annoying it tickle you you don't like that you say yeah but tick- you laugh i know well yeah and i think because i was tickled tortured when i was younger get over it <sighs> i know sometimes i'll do that pouty like space and then you, the that one time, time you yeah the that. first time i did the pouty and then you just flicked my lip just i had a straight face just up and boop <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> just you know that was funny that was good did not expect that no that was good that was good and then um I put my finger in your ear yeah it just puts your finger in my ear and it's fine for a little bit but it's just for some reason i think you about don't it, like it i think about it tickling me and then it tickles I and pin, i laugh i pin you down pin and me down and i cannot do anything and i try and get out not like a wet willy just straight just, just finger dry finger, finger in that ear, ear hole yeah. yeah. And then, and then, um, that, and you also like, you, you, you like blow into my mouth or like my nose. Yeah, when you think I'm going to kiss Help you. me breathe. Yeah. I help her breathe. Mm-hmm. And when she yawns, just mm-hmm. right down the, right, right into the mouth. Yeah. Yep. Just boop your tongue. And then I started doing this now yeah. too, right after because my fingers wet from being in your mouth. So yeah. I just do that. Yeah. I just random shit. And then what else could you do that? You blow in my mouth and my nose. Yep, that's pretty much it. Random <sighs> stuff. Flip your tit a couple of times. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> it's my favorite, but I don't think you like that at all. You got mad at me a little bit one time. I didn't get mad at you, the did first I? First time. Yeah, no. the first time. That was like, upstairs. Oh, disrespect. And yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep doing it then. Uh, um staring contest all the freaking time oh we yeah. talked about that okay yeah first time we, we texted oh yeah yeah okay I put it in there again oh yeah kiss my palm and close in hand okay yeah so something that <clears throat> i don't know like yeah i like that i don't know how, how do you okay so i'll explain what kiss it is hand. then i want you to tell me like how you thought of it or like what you kiss or if you've hand. always done it kissing hand huh it's a book oh Over. that's right that's right that's right okay Okay, so you you say. There's a book called The Kissing Hand. It's about a mama raccoon sending her little baby raccoon off to school, and she just kisses, kisses her little, the kisses inside hand. Yeah, so he can just, I don't know, do something like that. Yeah. I don't remember. 
And so then how'd you get, okay. So she'll like kiss my, my hand and my, like the palm mm-hmm. and then closes my hand. She can keep it. So I can keep it. But what, what starts, so like what started the closing of the, just sneak and keep it. Okay. You just saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, look, I, don't know. I like it a lot. You don't do it in the morning though anymore. Yeah, I do. What are you, you talking about? Okay, babe, you kiss the hand, but then you don't close it. I close it. Cause you like are like, did you burp? <laughs> yeah, <I smell. laughs> you're like grabbing me or something in the morning. So what? You're like grabbing me in the morning, and that's mm-hmm. why you don't close it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Skinny little kisses. Yeah. Kiss the hand, then I close it. And, and you said you always lay on that hand after. So I do. I still it. do it too. Really? Yeah. I like I'll. See you. I know. I'll. Eat. You must roll over after I leave. Well, because you like pretty much right away. You like turn and go. Mm-hmm. But like you'll kiss my hand. I close it, and then I'll like just go like this and like lay on it a little bit. And then usually like okay. I'll lay back down, and, and like hands normal. And then mm-hmm. you've been lately like you'll come back and you'll kiss me on the cheek or the forehead. Like, we'll kiss again, and then, like, I'll grab my hand, and then go away. Look away. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> That's what you do. And mm-hmm. I was going to say something else, too. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. There was definitely something else I was going to say about that, but. Tell your different story. Okay. So, what, we talked about the rest? Yeah. No, not the morning and morning. Yeah, that's just you laughing at it that one time. Yeah, one time you said I don't say morning. Usually, I say morning. Morning, and there was one time when we were just like standing there. This was like midday just in your kitchen, and just in my kitchen in Brookings when I lived there. And I was talking I about think, what we were gonna do in the morning. Oh yeah, and she just started just dying <laughs> laughing. Is it wait? What? It, because what did you say when you said? I just was talking about what we were going to do. Yeah, you're like, what are we going to do in the morning? No, I was saying about, like, okay, and tomorrow morning we're going to do whatever, whatever. Because <laughs> I was... just used it in a sentence. <laughs> it was just like, just na- died. <laughs> Natural mid-sentence. Yeah. And honestly, at first, I tried holding it in, but I couldn't. You do that thing where you just think about something <laughs> that you think is funny, and then you start laughing more. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else does later. this, but if something makes you laugh a lot, but you rethink about it. So then you keep laughing. I do that. Even like she'll stop laughing. <laughs> then like two minutes later, she just will start laughing. <laughs> Randomly. I love you. Start laughing again. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. she just thinks about it. But it was just so funny when you said it. Because it was like mid-sentence just, yeah. in this. Like, just like whatever. And uh, you said whatever. that. Yeah. yeah. Like, what do you want to do tomorrow morning? And I, just I didn't was- even ask you. I just said what we're going to do in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. yeah and I just I did not expect that at all and I just just busted out laughing I couldn't stop for a very long time it was so funny yeah I just laughed a lot different oh yeah we did okay oh pout lips oh, <laughs> it looks like a T. oh yeah yeah okay so there we were are you talking about for one yeah because we had listened on um a pod on a podcast wine and crime so good and it's so funny so and good. one of them it's like a crime but it's comedy it's true crime but comedy it's a comedy show that covers true crime yeah, stuff. Mm-hmm. yeah. and there's one time they talked about because they live in they're from minnesota and so they were just like talking about how like in minnesota and the midwest they say different and they say different, it's, um different different like the worst thing you can be called in minnesota is like well, well she's nice but she's a little different she's nice, she's a little different a little different yeah, yeah. and uh, so this was probably when we were just like traveling because this was on our road trip and we went to different places and we were mm-hmm. in the rockies and uh, we were, I don't even know, after we listened to that episode, it was so funny. And then we, every time it was like, just noticed the word, saying different. yeah, <laughs> but the word different will never be the same. When anyone says different <laughs> or we different. say different, all I think is different. Yeah. And so we were walking, we were hiking and we were talking about it and, <laughs> and I kept saying different. She different. was head different. down, different. head down, walking along. 
in my yes. own world because yeah, I forgot that there could possibly be people around completely doing, forgot doing her own thing she was a little bit behind me I was ahead of her I'm walking along head up I see this lady in front of us because I can hear so behind me saying different I wasn't different you. you were behind me oh really you behind me. oh okay just saying she, she was head down different 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 <laughs> different 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 for a solid two minutes doing that i'm walking along see this lady in front of us just cracking up (laughs) and i don't know if she could hear you or not i'm sure that's probably what she was laughing at. that's what i like to think because she she was was laughing yeah that's probably because just imagine someone's hiking looking at their little looking at their feet walking and you just hear different 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 different. and i think sometimes i was even like different 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 you were trying to figure out different you're trying to figure it out and i don't know why i did different tones like that i don't know it was definitely a high pitch different (laughs) different (laughs) different yeah i don't even know (laughs) so anyone listening they're they're never gonna (laughs) catch us on a different will never be the same for anyone listening also oh man i wish i knew what episode that was on wine and crime listen to wine and crime Wow, listen yeah. to this Your podcast show. and also listen to that one mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah it is good. Very it's good. so very funny. funny so funny just what they say they drink wine while they talk about true crime and sometimes they get a little bit tipsy <laughs> oh bit tipsy <laughs> you pretty drunk a couple episodes yeah the k-pop one funny. man i was like crying mm-hmm. during that one i was laughing so hard mm-hmm I don't remember that the whole time. It's when they do too. the little like singing thing. Right? Hey, I don't know why that gets you. That doesn't give me a. That's oh, it just funny tickles me. me. It just <laughs> it just tickles me. <laughs> this gets me. Oh yeah. my god, it gets me. It doesn't get me as much. Freaking time. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even think about it. Okay. Anything else? So funny. Um. Um. I can't even think. How is it working out with me in the gym now? Hmm? How is it working out with me in the gym now? With you in the gym? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, I've been helping you with your form and stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 Um, Coaching you. A lot better. Yeah, Coaching it's like... Program. Yeah, so I... When I program for other people, it's totally fine. Like, I... I, I can... She whatever. Like I, it. You crush it for other people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you do very good. Thank you. But when I try and make a program or workouts for myself, okay, I've come a long ways. I know that I don't need to do everything. And I know I don't need to do a bunch of cardio and like I just want to do lifting, but my mind will gravitate towards wanting to try and fit everything in. Like if I don't get certain things in, I'm like, well, I need to do this. I need to do this. And I know I don't need to, but I try and fit it all in the things that I want when I really don't, I don't need to. I know that. Mm-hmm. But it, I don't know, it just happens. And so um, so it's helped a lot. So she will, she just programs for me now which is super helpful because if someone gives me something, I don't feel like I need to do more or like feel like I remember there was one day I was doing a back day and it was a, the program that I made for myself. And uh, I was like, okay, I did these, but I feel like I need, to, I, I was like, I questioned, okay, I, I feel like I did more, whatever it was paired with. Like, let's just say it was it's back in hamstrings. Back in hamstrings. Yeah. And I felt like, okay, My hamstrings, I did like pretty good and I had quite a bit, but I don't feel like I, my back, I had less exercises than the hamstring. So I'm going to do this back exercise and this back exercise. And then it's like, well, I got to do this hamstring exercise too. And it's like, just like never ending. And I, it's just, yeah, it's, I can't, I can't do it. But when she gives, when I get a, like a program, she does it. I don't have that. Like I just go through it and that's it. I don't question it. I don't like feel the need to get in this exercise, this exercise, this lift, this lift. So yeah, it's helped a lot. I like it a lot. Took out your supersets too. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I currently am not doing any supersets, which I did that one other time in the past for the program, but I like it a lot because I'm focused on lifting heavier and then I take that break and then do it again mm-hmm. instead of doing superset or like circuit or whatever. And I like it. And it's less like lifts in total. It's like four or five. 
Yeah, I think four that. sets of six. Hmm? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you only do like five exercises. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, and then just like I'm always open to hearing what other people say, like different tips and cues and things that they've learned on different different different, different. <laughs> lifts, so whether it's like a lunge or a squat or a cable press or a cable fly, which we did today. And uh, just learning different. That. Oh my gosh, completely changes it. Like if you change your hand position anyway, when you do a cable fly or like your arms bent versus straighter, you'll, it changes the entire thing and where you feel it. So yeah, it changes it completely. And so it's nice. Like I've learned a lot from you. It's just nice having you learning from you um, because then it helps myself, but then also people that I train and coach. Mm -hmm. And it's so you always want to stay open-minded to things. I think even if you have, like, I mean, I've been training my whole life. I've been working out. I've been like training and coaching for like five years, which is very small in the grand scheme of like everything, but you can't always believe that, you know, everything because then you won't learn anything new. Yeah. It's not a good spot to be when you think that, you know, everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I've liked, I've loved it a lot having that. Anything else? Can't think of anything. I'm trying to think if there's anything like relationship or living together wise. It's been nice for me because I don't feel like I need to be doing or like being productive doing stuff all the time. Like we'll just like watch shows at night. Okay, so yeah, I really always want to like prioritize now hanging out with you. Like in the like I'm in the afternoon. You come home, like maybe work out. I could still maybe work on stuff or like we go to the coffee shop or whatever. But I always make like I never want to put work first. And I mean, it's nice that we have kind of like similar schedules now, Mm -hmm. but being with you at nighttime and I like I, I could picture myself being like working at or working at nighttime, but I I would much rather use that time. To, like I love it's my favorite when you come home after work, but then also it's my favorite you and me, like going to the grocery store, find something to make your cooking. Mm-hmm. I'm drinking wine. I'm helping out a little bit, but like <laughs> we do it together. We eat together. we like watch a show, hang out, go to bed. Mm-hmm. And I love that. And I uh, like just want to prioritize that. Mm-hmm. It's important. That's it. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I like that you brought up the six. Thanks. I was like kind of mm. thinking about it, but I'm like, maybe for a different episode or another one in the future. Maybe some of my questions and the if we do the one about being with the chick versus a dude. Yeah, maybe we'll do another episode where it's like just focus on that stuff. Six? Mm-hmm. And then you ask me those questions, like whatever questions you have. I think sex is a very important thing for anybody, even if you're single. Just, mm-hmm. I think making yourself orgasm helps a lot. With for sure. Things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like scientifically proven yeah. to help with like stress and like everything. Yeah, it does a lot for you. Mm-hmm. But even in a relationship too, like if you're in the right, like a, the right relationship or whatever, it builds trust on a different level. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Relationship in a different level. Yeah, and like not just like trust and like building the relationship, but it's like just I mean that is for both of you. Yeah, and it, but it's like a deeper connection. Mm-hmm. Like it just grows. This is not cheesy, I know, but like just like grows the love between the two and like the connection between the two. Gay. It does. Mm. Whether you're with a boy or girl or whatever. Or anything in between. Mm-hmm. Or neither. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Well, let's just float with the grow. Flow with the grow. Whatever flow Float with the grow. And I'm your house. Yeah, in the beginning of one of the episodes, it's it did not the trans the <laughs> transcription didn't doesn't always like is not 100 percent accurate. And it said Welcome to Float with the Grow. I'm your house, Sophia. Andy. Andy. <laughs> so close. This is so very close. Yeah, it's so far away. 
All right. That is that. That is all. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for tuning in, joining, learning, watching everything. Doing whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And Instagram, we're at Sof and Key at KeyBass12 at Sophia and on 41. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Screenshot, story, tag. Send me any questions you have for <laughs> hetero versus homo. <laughs> Yes, seriously, don't be shy. What? Okay. Peace. Slauncha. Hmm? Slauncha. That's right. Canada's learning, learning Scottish Gaelic on a pod, or phone app. Mm-hmm. And what is that? Duolingo. No, but the, the but yeah, oh. that's the app, but. Slauncha? Slauncha. Cheers. Slauncha. 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 <laughs> just end it slancha 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 that's just cheers slancha i know cheers 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 love you all okay bye Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Flow With The Grow. I'll see you next week for your daily dose of positivity and growth.